Now I found that the length of or total length of all the sides then is equal to 12x plus 162 over x squared and we're told that we've got to use calculus to find the minimum value of L. Calculus being differentiation. Now if we're to do this and we're to differentiate this essentially we need to change this term. We need to change it to 12x then plus 162 x to the power minus 2 because it's 162 times 1 over x squared so we can rewrite that as x to the minus 2. Now just as an overview though let's just draw you a little sketch of what's going on here. Not that you need to know what this sketch is like, but essentially if you were to draw this graph for positive values of x, it's going to look something like this. Okay, And we're trying to find out this minimum value of L. And we know that at this point here, which is the minimum value, that gradient there is equal to 0. In other words, dL by dx equals 0. And that's why we're using calculus to try and locate this point. So to differentiate this then in the usual way, let's write dl dx, therefore dl dx equals, well, if you differentiate 12x with respect to x, you just get 12. And if you differentiate 162x to the minus 2 with respect to x, just multiply minus 2 with 162 and subtract 1 from the power. And that's going to give you minus 324x to the power minus 3. And I always feel it's a good idea just to write any negative powers back as their positive power. In other words, that's 324 multiplied by 1 over x cubed, which comes out to be 324 over x cubed. I would always encourage you to do that kind of thing. Now, we know that at this point, called a stationary point, the gradient dl dx in this case must equal 0. So therefore, at a stationary point, let's just write that in, at a stationary point, okay, dl by dx must equal 0. So if we're working that out, we therefore have 12 minus 324 over x cubed has to equal 0. And what I'd want to do at this stage is to multiply both sides by x cubed. So you're going to get 12 times x cubed, 12x cubed in other words. Multiply this term by x cubed and you're just left with minus 324. And if you multiply the 0 with x cubed, you still end up with 0. And we can add 324 to both sides, so you get 12x cubed equals 324. And then divide both sides by 12, and if you do 324 divided by 12, you get 27. Which is really nice because when you want to get x, you've got a cube root 27, and that's a nice value. It gives you 3 exactly, okay? So x is 3. This point here is where x equals 3. But we've got to find the minimum value of L, so what we need to do is substitute this value when x is 3 back into this equation. So we can say that when x equals 3, L equals 12 multiplied by 3 then plus 162 divided by 3 squared. And if you work that out, you end up with 54. 54 centimetres then is that minimum length. Well, we say it's the minimum length. We can see from this graph that it's the minimum length. That's assuming that this graph is true. Now, I did say you don't need to know what the graph looks like to answer this question. But in the next part, we're going to need to justify why this is a minimum. Okay, so I'll take you through that in the next video.